Uh, I'm going to move on to story number two. Uh, so this one kind of, I felt a little sad for it, but I understand. But uh, a health startup called Miners uh, to shut down after data breach exposed health records. Yeah. And uh, it was like, it provided chronic care management and remote patient monitoring services, but they got breached and now they're shut down, uh, I think at the end of May. So what do you guys have to say about this story? So, so I'm, I'm not surprised. A lot of small businesses go out of business after a breach, but the real reason for this is HIPAA. Every record they leaked, they have a fine and they just leaked so many records that the fine was too much. They'd never be able to pay it. And it was better to just shut down the business, declare bankruptcy and just mm -hmm. fold the business up. So it, it's super sad, um, but I think that we're gonna see this more and more commonly, especially uh, right now, HIPAA is the most common one that has a direct impact on breaches, but there's potentially others, right? There's a lot of laws out there about like minimum fines for data breaches mm -hmm. and it, it, the small businesses get hit, get hit the, the, the worst. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, a lot of small businesses do go out of business after a breach. Um, whereas a lot of large businesses end up bouncing back or even profiting from a breach. So it's, it's really, uh, it's a hard mm. thing for, for small businesses. Hey, hey, Steve, do you know if, if, if a business like that pays the ransom and gets their information back, do they still get hit with the HIPAA fines? I mean, I think it depends because if it's just ransomware that encrypts and yep. does not steal, right. then you can make the argument that the data was never exposed but if it's ransomware that encrypts and steals then and they're out there and then you're out and and most ransomware gangs in the last 12 months and people people don't realize how fast ransomware is evolving most ransomware gangs in the last 12 months have uh started uh encrypting and stealing and they'll steal because they will want to release or threaten to release the data uh, if they don't pay, right? And so, you know, this business, who knows if they could have paid and then if they don't pay, the data gets released and then they can't afford the fine. So yep. it's, it's really dicey if, if you're in any HIPAA related uh, small business. Yes. That's really dangerous uh, because of the risk of uh, security. Yep. This wasn't, nothing in this article said it was ransomware. It was just, it was a data breach. And I hate to say just data breach because apparently it was everything about the patient. It was financial and medical records and like everything. So uh, it does note that there were probably some other issues going on financially with this company. And this might've been a straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. It is in California too. It's one of the more stringent states on uh, on compliance and, and data protection. So yeah, not good. No. Yeah, and it's super dangerous. Like building a small business is hard. It's super risky. You end up, most small businesses fail. They end up losing money. And then there's the additional risk that a hacker from uh you know russia can hack your business from across the world um you can't hack back you can't do anything other than defensive and if they are successful you have to shut down so that's right like, where, where where's the incentive there well and even even for small businesses even the stimulus stuff that was paid during covid to pay employees, you know, they tried all sorts of things to try to help smaller businesses stay in business. And even that's the, the aftermath of that has not been simple either. It has unintended consequences and it's very difficult. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. We, we, we got some assistance uh, during COVID, but um, our, our assistance was very minimal just based on the number of employees we had and it seemed like it was geared much more for for much larger companies yeah um, 
And then, you know, we, we got a, a very small loan, but of course the loan has to be paid back and there's all these like rules or, around that. So yeah, yeah. I, I think that the environment uh, after COVID has been um, very dangerous for, for small businesses.